Hi, it's Carl here from RogueSpa.ie. Um, we're out in our warehouse in Rathcool today. Um, I want to do a video of basically the rugs that we have in for cleaning, and um, the different requirements of the rugs, and basically how long each one takes to clean. And crucially for, for people that are inquiring about, about rugs, explaining why some rugs, for example, this polyester rug here, costs about 50 euros to clean, and some rugs, for example, the biggest of the rugs here, an Indian cashmere wool rug, uh, take about two days. So, <clears throat> the main differences between the likes of that polyester rug here, this rug here as well, which is a 100% wool runner, but it's machine made, um, and the rug underneath us, the rug underneath me even, are that, the rug that I'm standing on would take about six to eight months for a couple of weavers to make. These rugs over in the corner, take about 10 minutes on a machine. So the cost variation, the labor that's gone into them and the expertise that's gone into them is vastly, vastly different. The rugs all have different requirements for cleaning. One of these rugs will take about 45 minutes to an hour and a half. If, and that's if the worst case scenario if they have any problems that need to be addressed. The rug that I'm standing on is a 16 hour clean. And this particular rug, had a cigar odor issue. It's 50 to 70 years old. Had a cigar odor issue that meant that we needed to bathe the rug in order to remove the smell of tar from the cigar smoke. So the first primary uh, concern when you're cleaning a rug is to thoroughly back dust it. So I have equipment here behind me, two heavy duty vacuum cleaners uh, and various other ones as well. And what we do is we spend hours, literally hours, back dusting rugs to remove this, which is grit basically embedded and impacted down deep in the, in, the face, in, in, in the pile of the rug. This acts as an abrasive. The mechanical action of you walking over the rug will over time break the wall at the base of the rug, rendering it threadbare. And if this is not removed during the clean, the rug simply is not clean. It's the main difference between a professional, experienced rug cleaner and a rug cleaner who is a have-a-go hero who thinks that they can take an item such as, as one of these rugs, these are all handmade beneath me, um, and clean them in, in an hour. This rug here um, is, again, uh, this, this one was bought in Turkey um, about 20 years ago, and the customer brought it in to us with a moth issue where moths have eaten down into the pile of the rug. Again, had this rug been in a cleaning regime of maybe once a year, once every two years, this would have been spotted an awful lot quicker and that issue mitigated. So we've actually killed any remaining cocoons, larvae of the moths and we're now looking at having repairs done um, to the rug also. We don't do that ourselves yet, but it's something that we will be getting into. It's not an issue that we would see too often because people will usually see when they're vacuuming the rugs that they're, they're having an issue. This rug then is part of the consignment of four rugs that we took in. It's a nice, looks to me like a Turkish piece, Caucasian design, uh, geometric designs on the rug. Again, you're looking at about 200 euro to clean a rug such as this, maybe 250, um, because you're looking at about five or six hours to clean it. Um, and that's with testing for dyed lead, uh, testing for shrinkage. It's a wool on cotton rug, which means that the base fibers, the warp and weft is cotton. Cotton absorbs 100% of its size in water when you put water on it. And what that means is the warp and weft goes from this to this. And that's what causes the shrinkage on the rug. And in some cases, with rugs and indeed with carpets, this is irreversible and the rug is permanently damaged. So, these two rugs that are left, this rug, because of the problems that it came with, is a 450 euro clean. Again, it's a full day. Um, we are also treating it um, and moth proofing it so that hopefully uh, this doesn't happen again. Also having it appraised for repair. And finally, the Indian cashmere rug, which is a beautiful piece. Stunning, stunning rug. We're now on about hour 15 with this rug clean. Um, and we're, we're so long cleaning this rug because when this rug actually came into us, you couldn't make out these details on the rug. There's subtle bands around these floral motif 
here, which you actually couldn't make out, the rug was so dirty. So this rug has seen 12 hours of back dusting, and that is basically us using mechanical beaters to beat the back of the rug and remove that impacted soil. This rug then needs to be put into a rug bath, which we convert this area into, um, and then dry it rapidly. So we're, we're on final process with this rug, about 16 hours so far. And this rug has come through with 750 euros to clean. Again, I want to impress upon people watching this video that, that these rugs, if you don't know what you're doing, uh, cleaning them, you can absolutely ruin an item. Uh, uh, and these are irreplaceable. You can't get another one of these. You could get one quite like it uh, and pay a lot of money for it. But these, these rugs are irreplaceable. So we're, we're out here in Ratcool, um, Green Oak Business Park. The addresses are on the Facebook and uh, page and websites. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us or call us. Um, and I'm happy to help. Uh, we can uh, appraise, collect. You can drop rugs off for us to have a look at. We can give you a, a no obligation quote for any rug, be it one of the, 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 the generic sort of polyester rugs, or we've done rugs in here made of 100% silk. 100% wool, silk mix, viscose rugs, so on and so forth. We're, we're highly versed in the field. Uh, Carl is my name again. Um, happy to help with any questions and we'd love to hear from you.